folks I'm here at Mike Becker's farm and checking out his uh, installation he's getting ready to pour some uh, concrete here. this is the area that you need to fill in to the uh, almost to the top and what that does that helps hold its shape because it's going to be concrete's going to go in there and want to pull out now you don't want to tamp this real hard just light and when the pressure of the concrete comes out, it should come out just right. One of the areas, we took the dirt away from it just a little bit because it was pushed in a little bit too much. Now, once the concrete goes in there, it will push back out and we'll put the dirt back. When you tamp this area around the edges, you don't want to go bang, bang, bang real hard. You just want to go like this, just a light touch very light because you want to keep those walls as straight as possible there now the concrete will push them back out to try to form this yourself with wood and put the rebar and everything and put a foundation would be almost impossible yet way costly but by the use of plastics we're able to roto mold this product and put that rebar right in it Okay, folks, this cattle guard here is pretty much ready to pour. You can see they add a little dirt around the edges, lightly tamped it. Any place where the foam was broken, you simply just put a little bit of dirt in there. Because all that's going to get taken out anyway after the pour. Concrete's going to go in here around all this rebar. See the concrete going in? the steel and you can see it going down in the big beams in the middle and you're gonna do a little overspill but it's not gonna matter we can put it back in so what we'll do we'll do one cattle guard at a time and you notice he's going down each edge he's not filling it completely the first time that way it's distributed all over just like you would if you were pouring a concrete slab, you sometimes tap the wooden forms. These are the actual beams that the uh, tractor will go over. And the foam will be thrown away after the concrete sets up a little bit. Each form takes a yard and a quarter. We usually order a yard and a half because you do get some overspill. So he's going to go all the way through and then we'll give it another coat. Now he's going over it again. And uh, what we're doing, we're bringing the concrete up gradual on the whole product. We're not doing one beam at a time. You can see he went all the way across. So you can see it's it's got the grades here of the plastic. So you know what grades. Now this is going to shrink a little bit. So what he'll do, he'll take his trowel, the leftover concrete, and fill them up. Okay, so we're working on the second one here. He's filling it up halfway, and then he's going to come back and fill it up the rest of the way. You can say it runs pretty good. If you don't have a pump, then you just have to take your shovel and put a big pile there and let it go into the holes. Let's walk and look at the uh, insides. Now you can see where the concrete stripped on the plastic. If you like, you can spray paint it with black or just let it go. The function is there. You can see the concrete has come all the way to the very top. You can see the two inch stop at the bottom and the wide gap area here. And you can see where the foam tabs were very useful during the concrete pour. 
so the concrete wouldn't go down into the gap areas. So you have the beams, the gap areas, and you just simply take these out after a pour, throw them away. Each one of these cattle guards takes a yard and a quarter of concrete. I tell people to order a yard and a half. This is two cattle guards, 16 foot, so you would need three yards of concrete. You can either dump the concrete on top with all the foam on, or you can get a pump machine and pump it. If you put the concrete on top, you just simply pull it into the holes. That's it, folks. This is an HS20. That's a high-rated concrete cattle guard. Just about anything can go over it. And if you had a fire for any reason and that plastic got burnt, it wouldn't matter. It's concrete. That's a stay in the ground concrete form. Once it's poured, it's all solid concrete. Even that big beam they're going across, it's all filled with concrete and rebar, all connected. Very strong, very heavy now. One of these cattle guard only weighs about 140 pounds until you set it down. Once you pour it, it's thousands of pounds each.